So now I'll cover how to do more complex animations. This is an optional topic again, so you won't need it for co topics I'll cover later on. So, so far I've shown you how to do a simple animation where you take an image and move the image across the screen. So now I'll show you how to do a more flexible type of animation. I'll show you how to take an image and move it in more complex paths around the screen. So here's a program again that moves a person from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. One thing that's a little bit different from the program before is that we have two variables, a variable x for how far the person should move to the right and a variable y for how far down the person should be. But because we only change x, the person stays at the same position vertically, but moves horizontally across the screen. Now, in order to do more advanced animation, we need to have this concept of time because you want to do different things at different times. So to keep track of what time it is, we need to use a variable. We'll use a variable called time and we'll set it to one. So basically at the beginning, time is one. Now, each time we run the program, we want time to move forward. So we'll add one to time using time equals time plus one. So in our current program that we keep repeating, you'll see we have this command here, x equals x plus one, which makes the person move to the right. So now let's bring in a concept of time. So let's say we want the person to move to the right, but stop moving to the right at a certain point in time. So let's say when time is 50, the person should stop. Now we do that by adding these lines of code here. So we still have this x equals x plus one, but we'll add this if time is greater than one and time is less than 50. So basically, the person will only move to the right when time is between 1 and 50. Now let's say after moving to the right, we want the person to move diagonally down and to the right. So to do that, we write these lines of code here. And basically what these lines of code say is that when the time is between 50 and 100, move to the right and down. So you can see that in the lines of code here. So when time is greater than 50 and time is less than 100, so when time is between 50 and 100, run these lines of code. And these lines say x equals x plus one, so the person should move to the right, and y equals y plus one, so the person should also move down. So when the time is between 50 and 100, the person should move down and to the right. And once time is 100, the person won't move anymore because there's no commands to tell the person to move once the time is greater than 100. So here's the complete program for moving the person to the right and then down into the right. So now you can build on this to build more complicated programs for moving images in more complicated and interesting ways. Go give it a try.